Hey guys, Squidward in the closet now to an out here, and today I hit a big milestone for my channel. I hit a thousand subscribers, and you know what that means. Time to do my plush collection, which is why all these garbage bags full of plushes are on my table. But first I have something I'd like to show you. Let me unzip it first. I got a Nintendo Switch, and I'll have to make a video about that soon, but I'm gonna go put my Nintendo Switch away. And yeah, let's start with the plush collection. I got some new ones from Goodwill, and I'm gonna do those first. So, first thing we got, Webkin's Panda. Say, he's a nice... Even though I'm more of a Beanie Baby person than a Webkin's person, there's a Webkin Panda. And then I got a Webkin's Deer. He's nice. And then I got this L.L. Bean Moose. It's nice. Then I got this penguin from Madagascar. It was made in 2008 to promote the release of Madagascar 2. Then I have a Jeffrey the Giraffe from Toys R Us. This is a really nice plushie of him. It's Jeffrey from Toys R Us. Then I got Wheezy, the penguin from Toy Story 2 that Woody meets when he goes on the shelf. That was a Disney store bean bag of him. Then speaking of bean bags, I got this pan for Beanie Baby. Then I got a monkey webkins on all fours. I got a lot of webkins, but one of many elephants. This is a webkins elephant, and I got a lot of elephants today. Just speaking. Even though my favorite animal is a gator, I didn't get any gator webkins, but I got a turkey webkins. Yeah, turkey. Then I got this frog from Ripley's Believe It or Not. And you can tell it's Ripley's Believe It or Not because it has two extra limbs there. And that's what Ripley's Believe It or Not does. Then I got a webkins fish. He's cool. I think this webkins fish looks really exotic, and if it was real, I'd have it as a pet, but... I think the code is used, and it did not come with a code when I got it, because that's Goodwill. And then I got a red-eye tree frog. I think red-eye tree frogs are really cool animals. Not as cool as the American alligator, but these are nice animals. Then we got a Peter Rabbit. He was made for Easter in 2010, like Beatrix Potter. No relation to Harry Potter, but speaking of Harry Potter, I think there's someone from Harry Potter in there that I'm going to show you later. Actually, I'm going to show you him right now. This is an owl from Harry Potter that I found in Goodwill. It says Harry Potter. I don't know if this guy is supposed to have a name. I don't know if this guy has a name or not, but if the Harry Potter owl has a name, please post it down in the comment section. And he came with a scroll that reads Alohomora, so I'm not a Harry Potter fan, but... If you know if this owl has an... If any of you guys know if this owl has a name or what... Alohomora means, and please post it down in the comments section. Then I got a Beanie Baby Bull. I think the bull, this Red Bull, you can't drink it though, but it's a good Beanie Baby to have if you're into collecting them like I am. Then I got a Beanie Baby Horse. His name is Thunderbolt, and I think Thunderbolt is a really nice name for a horse. Pikachu, use Thunderbolt! <laughs> yeah, and then this guy shows up for some stupid reason. Just a little joke for you guys there. Then I got this Beanie Baby Christmas Moose from 2008. None of these beanies have tags because that's Goodwill. And then I got a monster Beanie Baby Ball that talks. Yep, this monster Beanie Baby Ball that talks. It's cool. Then I got this little mini Daffy Duck from the Warner Brothers Studio Store. He has Velcro on his hands and he squeaks. I don't know if this Daffy Duck is supposed to be a pet toy or a baby toy, but say this is a nice Daffy Duck. I mean, it, it is my first Daffy Duck plush. Then I got a little mini Rafiki McDonald's toy from The Lion King. That scene in The Lion King with the circle of life. 
Hase Jenya, Hase Jenya, Koki Manishka. And then he holds up Simba. Yeah, Rafiki from The Lion King. Then I have another Disney plush. It's another Disney store thing. Yeah, just the Disney store logo right there. And this is a Disney lizard. I have no clue what movie he's from. If you know what movie this Disney lizard is from, then please comment down below. Post in the comment section if you know what movie that Disney lizard is from. Then I got a Peanut the Elephant Beanie Baby. It's not the royal blue one, but I'm glad I got Peanut. He's the only elephant I got from Goodwill that I like. And then I got this Reese Bear. It does not smell like peanut butter. I wish it smelled like peanut butter because of Lotso from Toy Story 3, which I have a Lotso from Toy Story. You'll see him later, but I, if only this Reese Bear smelled like peanut butter, but unfortunately it does not. Then I don't know why I got this, but it's a little purple monkey baby toy thing. It's not one of my old baby toys. I just found this in Goodwill. It was in a bag of small plushes, like the small grab bag thing, and I got this little monkey baby rattle thing, and I got two of them, so I don't know why. And then we have a Halloween witch green M&M, so here's Halloween witch green M&M, looking lovely. Then I got another elephant webkins. Yeah, I think beanie babies are better. Then we got... No, I did not bring back Harambe because his butt is not silver, but this is a silver bat gorilla Webkins. There's the W for Webkins. Personally, I'm not really much of a Webkins person, but I think Beanie Babies are better, and I never use the codes on my Webkins, so personally, I think that it's W for Wombo and M for Mini. And then we have, this is a generic horse. Got some horses from Goodwill, too. Then I got a Beanie Baby Snake, two of them. This is the coiled one. I also have an uncoiled one that you'll see later. Then I got this little teeny tiny parrot, which I'll use for a baby parrot. It's, it's a baby parrot. What more can I say for myself? Then I got this weird jester thing. Kind of looks like a gator, but I don't know what it is. It says New Orleans, so it's obviously some sort of Mardi Gras thing. That I'm... Then I got a frog... It's a Webkin's frog. I don't really care for Webkin's considering I think Beanie Babies are better, but this is just a Webkin frog. Then I got a lizard Beanie Baby that looks just like the Disney lizard I got. Then I got a Beanie Baby lion. Then I got a Toy Factory Scooby-Doo, the 25 cent size one, the mini one. This is from 2010. This is a really cool 25 cent size original Scooby from Toy Factory from 2010. And I got a little mini Bugs Bunny from 1997, so I got two Looney Tunes, that little mini Daffy Duck that squeaks. I don't know why it squeaks, but I'm guessing that Daffy Duck I showed could be a baby toy or a pet toy, I don't know. And then this little mini Bugs Bunny was made in 1997. He's from 1997, that's what the year on his tush tag says. Then I got this cool frog. It's a pink frog. I'm thinking I could use this as Kermit's ex before he met Miss Piggy. This could be Kermit's old girlfriend before he met Miss Piggy. But personally, I like Kermit the Frog, but Miss Piggy, I don't really know. I do like Kermit the Frog, though, but Miss Piggy, I don't really know. Then I got this little lion. He roars, and he's some guns. They make Sesame Street plushies, but I don't know if Sesame Street has a lion. They got a big bird and a green guy who lives in a trash can, and they have... A blue guy who likes to eat cookies. Not to mention they have a vampire who's good at math on Sesame Street. But I was referencing Big Bird, Oscar the Grouch, Cookie Monster, and The Count. If you didn't know what I was talking about. And then I got this Beanie Baby Snake. This is the uncoiled one. Then let me just drag this bag over here. When the camera reaches 15 minutes, I'll stop, because this is just part one. Then I got this bear. He was made in Cincinnati, Ohio. And I think it's a Christmas bear, because the hat he's wearing is supposed to be a, like a Santa hat or something. He's wearing a little scarf. But I don't really know if that's a Christmas bear. Post down in the comments section if you think that's a Christmas bear. 
this thing, this was the mascot for the 96 Olympics here in Atlanta. And yes, they did have a mascot, for those of you that don't know. They have a lot of those guys of goodwill, but i glad I finally got my hands on one. Then I got a little love monkey. Then we got this little eagle from 2003 that makes bird sounds. Yeah, he's from 2003. Then I got this little fluffy elephant. Then I got a Texas Longhorn, a Longhorn that says Texas on his belly. It's not University of Texas or anything, but I'd say he looks really cool. Especially his tail and the Texas thing on his belly. When I went to Texas back in January, I saw these at the gift shops, but I didn't buy one. And now I finally bought one at Goodwill yesterday. And all these Goodwill plushes I got yesterday, so... This one I like. It's a Sesame Street plushie, a Grover. His face looks weird, but... The cool thing about this guy is that he's from the Sesame Place theme park in Langhorn, Pennsylvania. And he was made in 2010. Never been to the Sesame Place theme park, but... My favorite pluses from that bag are the Grover I'm showing you right now and the Scooby-Doo that I showed earlier because they're both from 2010, but never been to a Sesame Place theme park. I wish there was a Cookie Monster in here, but, because I like Cookie Monster, but I got the Cookie Monster on my wall right there. I'll show him later. And then there's the Grover, but this Grover is from the... Sesame Place theme park. Never been to Sesame Place, but this is a Sesame Place plush toy. Then going in here, we got a Webkin horse. This weird looking thing is obviously a chimpanzee with yellow boxing gloves. I've got to, I don't know why I have that. Then I have this kangaroo from Australia. I don't know why, but I just did the accent for some weird reason. Then I got this horse thing. I don't know what it is. I don't know what company made it because there's no tush tag on it. Then I got a blue bunny. I can make a toy bunny plush out of this, but if I do, I'll have a toy bunny that looks like crap. Should I make a toy bunny out of this? And then we have the little mini baby lion. It's not a baby toy, but it's just a teeny tiny little lion that I call baby lion. Then I just have this bunny. This little black cat thing. I don't know if you can see the tail, but there's the tail. Kind of looked like a bear, but it's not a bear. It's a black cat. This really old looking fish. Then I got this little Halloween witch thing. I swear, it was like a little mini haul at Goodwill yesterday. And then I got this elephant. Another elephant. I, I just got a lot of elephants. I wish I got a lot of gators, though, because my favorite animal is a gator. Then I got this little devil that I like. I don't know why I have this, but it's a little baby toy that says my first Easter. It's not my old baby toy, but it was in one of the small bags at Goodwill, the grab bag ones. Why they even put their why are people even putting their old baby toys in that thing? <laughs> Gary! Just kidding. This is Gary in real life. I have the real Gary, but this is just Gary in real life. And then I have this. Very lovely peacock. This is from the FAO Schwartz Toy Store in Manhattan. They're now closed, but I'm guessing the original owner must have bought this at the FAO Schwartz in Manhattan. And this is a really lovely peacock with the green tail. It's not the NBC one, but let's empty this bag. Put a couple more flushes in here. Yep, this bag is officially empty. Then I got this dude, he's a silly slammer. When you throw him against the hard surface, he talks, but the washing machine and the dryer messed up his battery, so it kind of talks weird like a chipmunk. So I don't want to demonstrate that, but this guy I could use as an enemy in the Mario's Missing series. 
Yeah, he was talking when I threw him, but yeah, his battery got messed up when I washed him. And then I got another one of those monkey baby rattle things. And whoops, this video is 15 minutes, so I gotta stop it for part one.